everyone, Joshua Myers here, and today I'm going to be discussing on why did Blumhouse ignore Halloween 2? Oh, Groovy. Be my victim. The old cynicism is gone. So the big question that I'm asking today is why did Blumhouse ignore Halloween 2 for Halloween 2018? And it's something that I've been kind of pondering for a while, and that's mostly because at first I kind of got it. I got why they ignored Halloween 2. And the reason I got why they ignored it at first is because of the fact that John Carpenter doesn't like the original Halloween 2. Fact. He said, honestly, that was one of the few mistakes of his career, actually. He never wanted to do a Halloween 2. And he was basically drunk when he wrote it, and that's how he came up with the whole uh, Myers is, like, like Myers and, like, Michael and Laurie are brother and sister and twist and stuff like that. And uh, he said it. He's made it on record that that whole idea is stupid. And honestly, I can't blame him. It is a stupid idea, because what that basically does is make a motive for the boogeyman. And therefore that makes him less scary and more predictable. And not only that too, because of that, the franchise hinged for decades on the whole brother-sister angle. Uh, even when they ignored, you know, certain timelines and that, they always went back to the brother-sister thing. Uh, and knowing that because of that, that's why we got the whole Cone of Thorns stuff, which was ridiculously handled. That's also why we got... Yes, that's why we got Halloween Resurrection. I don't know. I don't know how you explain that. And then that's why we got the remakes in that, which also went back to, like, the Rob Zombie remakes, which went back to the Rob and Sister angle. You know, in fact, instead of... Us getting, like, but instead of, like, revealing that Lori's, uh... Michael's sister and that in that in his remake of Fountain 2, he decided to do that within the first film. The first remake. And I feel like it's kind of one of the reasons where we kind of, kind of end up in the mess we did with the franchise. So I totally get that. It's basically wiping the slate clean, you know. Since in the original, that was not John Carpenter's intention, Michael and Laurie are no longer brother and sister, and therefore Michael could just, you know, stop and kill basically anybody. You know, he's not, has a specific target in mind, and that makes him scary, like, more scary and more unpredictable. So, I totally got, at, at least at first I thought I got why they did that, but then I kind of thought back to it, and after the film came out, I'm like, why did they ignore Helm too? And, because for me, they basically did some of the same things, you know? They, even though they didn't meet, Michael and Lori, brother and sister, they basically still made it to where, you know, Michael was hunting Lori when he honestly really has no reason to. He could just be, like, basically hunting other people and not just a bunch, bunch of random people and that. But no, it's like, and honestly, I thought when they were going to do Halloween 2018, I thought what they were, like, were going to do is that since now Michael's no longer hunting Lori, Lori is hunting Michael. So, and kind of be a twist on that. You know, that the, like, that the prey has become the hunter, and the hunter has become the hunted. You know, like, that kind of scenario. You know, like, the, like, the victim is striking back against his, her, like, his or her victimizer. And I, that's what I thought they were doing. Like, what he's going to do. They didn't do that at all. So that kind of makes, and all that too, now with Halloween Kills, we're going back to the Haddonfield Memorial Hospital and that. They're bringing that back, you know? They're bringing back Marion Chambers and that, but she was in the original Halloween 2 as well. You know, they brought her back in that and everything. And it just kind of makes me wonder, why did they do it? Now, I think now at this point, it's clear that the reason they did that is because they wanted John Carpenter on board. If they acknowledged Halloween 2, John Carpenter would have not been on board for Halloween 2018 and Halloween Kills and Halloween Ends. He would not, because he doesn't like Halloween 2. So 
So if they acknowledged that, then he would have not gotten on board and they would have had to find somebody else to compose and stuff like that and be a producer. And John Carpenter is the big name there. I mean, of course they would want him. Hell, I would have wanted him to come back and direct or, you know, even be involved at all. And that's why I think Blumhouse did ignore Halloween 2. It's not because they probably didn't like it or whatever, or I don't know. It's, I mean, personally, I don't really care for Halloween 2, like the original, actually. Um, if you see my review, you know why. Well, you guys will be seeing my review this October. Uh, it's being transferred from my old channel now, but if you've seen it on my old channel, like my main channel, you probably would know why I don't like the original Halloween 2 all that much. I mean, there's some good elements here and there in Halloween 2, but I, I definitely see why they... But at this point now, since they're doing a lot of similarities to Halloween 2 and stuff like that, I'm like... Why did he even ignore it? And the only thing I can think of of why they ignored it is not to necessarily start fresh or anything like like that per se. It's so that they could get John Carpenter on board for this movie, like Halloween 2018 and Halloween Kills and stuff like that. That's why. Because they knew if that if they acknowledged Halloween 2, then they would more than likely not be able to get John Carpenter back. Unless if they paid them a sh shit ton of money. Like, more so than they probably did. So... I don't know. Again, what do you guys think? Uh, why do you think Boss House ignored Helm 2? Do you think it's because of the reasonings I gave out? Or do you think it's another reason? Or do you believe the original reasonings that you were hearing about in that? Uh, tell me in the comments down below, and thank you guys for watching, and see you next time.